Well, what's up, Saints? It's your boy Quiet. I'm back with another video. So, I haven't did a video in so long, but yes, I'm finally doing a video on my coming out story and how it went and how it go and how, how I do it. So, before I say this video, this isn't to bash nobody, to like, I'm not gonna say nobody's names, to bash nobody, to put nobody down, because in the end, it was my fault with the situation that happened. Because I am kind of the one that blame. But yeah, like I said, I will not be saying any names because I don't want to make anybody seem like the bad guy or make me seem like the good guy because in all honesty. Okay, so this is how it started. It started in 10th grade and at first I was in this art class. Like my first class that I was supposed to be in was an art class. So um, I ended up not wanting to say, well it was a photography class. I ended up not wanting to say no photography class because I'm like, I'm gonna need a photographer because I'm not a photographer. So I was in high school. So the shit, they ended up moving me into a literature class, which was with some people that I, mostly with people I knew. Like I, I had some three friends in there that I already knew. So I, when I went in there, I was like, okay, bitch, just let me go, man. Let me go up there and chill with them. Like, let me sit with them. Let me be cool with them more because I knew them, but we wasn't really like close, close. But we became close. <laughs> so, um, and then this boy, who like, I literally knew him from like everywhere cause he was friends with all my other friends and he was cool. So like people knew him and stuff like that. So he ended up talking to us and then he became cool with us too. So he ended up becoming cool with our friend group. But keep in mind y'all, he had a girlfriend. Wow. Okay, yes, he had a girlfriend. And, um... Oh my god, I can't believe I tell that. This is my heart right now. My heart is really... Bro, 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 bro. Finally. Okay, but like, literally, um... We, I was like, we was cool. So he, he ended up talking to our group. So he became, he, he was hanging out with everybody though because he was cool. He talked to literally everybody in the class. He talked to this group, he talked to this group, he talked to this group, he talked to this group. He was really cool. Like he really got around with like friends. So um, we ended up becoming cool, close friends. So I ended, up, I ended up moving seats from like literally by my friend group to sitting by him because we was really cool and we was like friends and shit like that. And like a dummy, I ended up catching feelings for him. But that's when I was still, I was still like, I was still unsure about my sexuality. Like I didn't know if I liked him or I didn't know what it was. So, um, so I didn't know what, like I was so confused with myself. Like growing up, people used to always call me gay. Like every time, like everybody used to say my mannerisms, the way I talk, everybody used to say I was gay. Like every time somebody used to see me, they'd be like, they be like, I got a question for you. And I'm just like, like, you know when they say that and you already know what the question is. They be like, I got a question. And you're like, here we go. And they be like, are you gay? And you're like, no. But even though, well, I don't know if I was, well. So, so I, um, what, what was I at? Yeah, I ended up sitting by him. We was cool talking, yada, yada, yada. So we was cool, good pals. And then. We end up exchanging numbers because I guess we end up doing a project together and our group was together and stuff like that. So we ended up exchanging numbers, becoming friends, talking, yada, yada. So we ended up um, texting outside of school. And we, we, we went, I don't fast forward it. Okay, let me go on back a little bit. So yes, he had a girlfriend and his girlfriend was friends with most of my friends. Like my friends, like we wasn't not cool. Like we was really like, we would like speak when we seen each other. Like we was like, hey, hey, that's how we were. We wasn't like buddy, buddy, but we wasn't not friends. So yeah, so we, I was cool with the girl, with, with her, because I don't want to make it seem like I don't like her. We was cool and um, we was like buddies. So um, basically, like literally, like we would, so we would see each other every morning in, in school because we would like walk, we would be in the same area where we would like chill before um the bell rung so we can go to class. But we was cool and um so the um boy we was texting outside of school and we was cool and we was cordial 
and we would play eight ball pool because like, you know, everybody loves playing eight ball pool then. So we play eight ball pool. <laughs> we play about pool and we would like um just text back and forth like friendly sh nothing like that like we would just be friends like texting and me i like growing up i never really had boyfriends like mostly all of my friends were always girls or like gay boys even though damn i was gay i was gay <laughs> i was a freaking fruitcake <laughs> yes i was gay because like all of my friends was gay and girls I should have known. But, um, so we was texting and my dummy, my dumb self, I take friendly, like being nice to me, as me developing feelings. Like, don't be nice to me if you're a boy. If you're a boy, please don't be nice to me because then I'm going to start liking you. <laughs> I'm telling you this already. Like, if you be nice to me, I'm going to be like, y'all, I'm in love. <laughs> so, yeah. So I started developing feelings like a freaking dummy, even though he had a whole girlfriend. But they was on a break during that time, though. Keep in mind, they was on a break. Like, I think they used to have breaks on and off and on and off, but they would never break up, I guess. But they was on a break. <laughs> so they was on a break around that time. So we was texting. And then this video is going to be short because I'm going to get to the point. So so he ended up texting me and he asked me, like, well, while we was playing about pool, we was texting. And I don't know what he takes me. Do you like me? And I'm like. Fuck yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. But no, I was just like, I was just like, like you like what? And then he was like, he was like, he was like, I didn't know that answer was that hard to give or something like that. And then I was like, I didn't know that answer. No, he was like, he was like, it's a, it's a simple question. And then I said. I didn't know the answer was that simple to give or something like that. I remember all this stuff because it all ties into the fact. So, yeah, so I remember all of this. Keep in mind, this was 10th grade. So I was just like, um, I ended up ultimately saying yes, like a dummy. And I should have said, I should have said no. I should have said no, even though I did, but I should have said no. So, um, yes. Um, so he was like, he was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, so we just kept being cordial like all that like we kept going to school after that kept being friends but we wasn't like after that we wasn't like i didn't sit by him no more because basically i was embarrassed because i was scared i was so scared because i didn't want to talk to him at all after that i was just like like i would still speak to him when i see him but i wouldn't sit by him so yeah i was really scared and i was really paranoid my heart would beat every time i was behind him, around him because i'm just like oh my god he really can like he he really has the ammunition if you want to to tell everybody and like expose me and get me like out tid. So um so basically I we was we would still text, we were still cool after that, still playing Ball pool. And then um I guess his girlfriend found his phone. Well well they used to like switch phones for the days, like they used to switch phones and like have each other's phone so i guess they she found my messages and she seen what we was texting and um somehow it ended up getting out that i liked him like i don't know if she exposed it if he was telling people but it ended up getting out so i was really like so my friend um one of my friends that was also friends with her she texts me and she's like, she's like, um, do you know yada 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 that's in our class? I mean, that's in your class with him. And I'm like, yeah, I know him. And I was like, well, you should be on the lookout because they be talking behind you, behind your back. And they be calling you all types of names, like gay skinny and all of that. So I'm just like, oh my God, it's out. It's really freaking happening. So I was really like scared by then. I was like, <sighs> my heart was literally beating out of my chest because I knew it was finally happening to where I was going to have to come out eventually because like, because I knew it was going to have to happen eventually. So I was really like scared, paranoid. So we had, um, I was going to the schools after that every day. It was like, it felt like always like the hours was always on me. Like, and I would dread coming to that class at this point. The class that I loved, like loved being in, loved being around all my friends. I used to hate going to that class after that. Like, I was so paranoid and scared. It did. I would like succumb and suppress all of my feelings and make it seem like I didn't care. But deep down, it was really hurting me and it really broke my heart because I'm just like, dang, I really like, I was really stupid enough to think 
I was actually stupid enough to think that he was like, well, yeah. So, um, it ended up getting out and everybody was talking about me and it was like saying all types of, calling me all types of names, gay, gay, skinny, that, that word, all of that. So it's like everywhere I went in school, like everybody knew. And I'm just like, wow, how did this all get out? Like. I know he wouldn't have did it, I don't think, because, like, I thought it was really, like, cool. Like, after that, he, we were still cordial, like, like I thought. So, I have another friend that's also her friend, too. Like, I told you all my friends was, like, connected to her. She told me that, like, in the end, like, he didn't even text me none of that in the beginning. Like, I guess she was texting me the whole time, asking me, did I like him? And I'm like... I'm a freaking idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. I'm slow. So, yes. Turns out, I guess he wasn't texting me at all. And he didn't know that. So, um, yeah, that's my first time. So, after that, I just, like, I just came out. My first, That was my first time coming out. So, then, next year, in 11th grade, I started doing Dual Enrollment. Where it's, like, where you would go to another school. Well, you will go to a college to get your college credits so you can, like, be a head start in college. Like, now I'm a junior in college and I'm only 19 when I should only be, like, a sophomore. But, um, yeah. So, um, oh, God, y'all, can y'all tell that I'm nervous? Because, like, my heart is, like, literally. So, um, I, um, did that and, um, it was really good for me that I had that because it was, like, a great escape. Like, because, like, I hated freaking being in high school. So, going to that was, like, really, like, a really good escape for me. Like, I didn't have to hear about that no more. I didn't have to hear about everybody calling me gay and stuff like that. So, that first time, I came out around my birthday time, which was in April. Like, that's when all of it kind of happened, around my birthday in April. So, and then, now to my second coming out, because I came out twice, because, like, after my first coming out, people were still, like, kind of asking me, are you gay? 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 And I'm just like, <sighs> Like, that gets annoying because, like, people, it shouldn't be a bad thing, like, to be asked, are you gay? But with this society, it is. People see gay as, like, a negative thing. So, I would see it as a negative thing because growing up, well, growing up, like, I've seen, like, homophobia, like, a lot growing up. Like, that's why I don't really want to accept it. With D being, like, everybody know D, like, famous, that's my pal, <laughs> my best bud, D, yeah, my child. So, um, he is you know, gay too. So he came out before me. So yeah, he came out like to us before me, which was a huge surprise to me because I didn't know he was gay either. But yeah, let me get back to me. So um, the second time I came out, it was around Mother's Day. <laughs> so it was around Mother's Day and um, I was really like upset for some reason. Like I was really mad. But why well, I know why I was mad. I was really mad because of D. So D had his boyfriend around the time. Everybody know his boyfriend, John. D had his boyfriend around the time and he would like never like want to hang out with us anymore like like he was like always never hanging out with us and I'm just like dang remember we're your brother too like me and D me and MJ me and MJ would have conversations about that like we're your brother too remember that like remember us so he would like never want to hang out with us he'll always be gone never want to chill with us so I'm just like and then I was finna go to college too so I'm like I'm really finna be going to college like you don't want to hang out with me before we leave so um so yeah, um, around the time I was really upset. I should in insert, okay, around this time, I'm inside a clip, if I remember. Like, this is around the time, right? Okay, so around this time, um, I was really upset around this time because that day we had went to Alabama and I was in a car. My mama had picked me up from GMC and I had a really bad attitude that day. Like, my attitude was terrible my mom was like what's wrong with you and i was just like nothing 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 like i really didn't want to talk about it but i was really mad about the fact that d i was still mad about that but so when i got to alabama and i made this long dramatic post that i shouldn't have posted and i put it on instagram put it on facebook i said i really think i have like a mental disorder like i'm bipolar where i'd be like happy then sad the next moment i posted it on, on, on facebook 
So my mom was already really mad at me too because she don't like when people are in our business. And I really put that on Facebook like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I posted that on Facebook. So she was just like, um, take that down. So I took it down. And um, so around that time, um, I went to my grandma's house. My my grandma, not on my mama's side, my grandma, other grandma, not nanny. So we ended up going over there and so we was chilling. Well, we wasn't at her house, we was at my cousin's house, but she was over. So we was all, they was all partying. And my grandma said she wanted to talk to me. So she took me outside and she was like, um, she's like, I know why you're upset. I seen your post. And I was like, uh, like, I really thought she knew about the D situation, but she was like, she was like, it's cause you keep su suppressing all of your feelings with your sexuality. Just go ahead and tell your mama, just go ahead and tell your mama, just tell her. But I never like really quit. I was never really scared of the fact to tell mama that I was like, you know, because like mama, no, mama knew already like her children was like, I think mama already knew because it wasn't a secret. Like I wasn't no, it wasn't, I wasn't hiding it. It's like, I wasn't hiding it at all. Look at this. Fix that. But I wasn't hiding it at all. It's just like, I just didn't say it. But I think I knew mama knew. So my grandma was like, just tell her, just tell her, just tell her. So I ended up, after we had got home that night, I ended up telling my mama. It was, that was May 11th when I told her. And she was like, and I told her it was like May 12th, the next day. The next day I posted on Instagram this time. Like I really posted on Instagram. <laughs> I posted the post on Instagram and I said, um, I wrote this long, long paragraph. I might put a picture of it. And I put it on my Instagram and I said, um, hi guys, I'm coming out. I'm really actually coming out this time. Like this is around the time I thought I was bi. Child. I thought I was like, I think every person when they just come out as gay, they say they're coming out as bi because like, it's like <laughs> the little icing on the cake. But I came out as bi, but now I'm just a full on fruit. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I came out the second time and yeah, so I ended up coming out and um, everything was different this time. I got support this time. Everybody was really like, commenting like love and stuff and everybody was posting me telling myself oh my god I'm so proud of you I'm proud of you and I was just like oh thanks like there's like oh my god you finally did it I'm so proud I'm so proud and I'm just like yeah I, but they should have known already because of the first time I had got the first time I came out and I well I was forced out of the closet but I guess they had forgot about that even though I didn't it still holds well it kind of does it hold us all on me today it does, but it doesn't. But yeah. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on all post notifications. So I'm going to try to start. Oh my God. I'm going to try to post now because um, I, I'm, I'm done with my classes. I'm through it working. So I really have all the free time in the world. I just don't be having any ideas of videos to post. I might do my first time video after this. My first times, if you know what I'm saying. So I might do that um, soon. Let me give me a thumbnail. I need to get something sad, like, I, like I'm sad. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Bye.